Now we're going to cover one rescuer infant CPR for the healthcare professional. Our scene is safe, our gloves are on, our CPR shield is available with a one-way valve, and in this situation we, this, we received a patient who has possibly been electrocuted. Now we're going to place one hand on the forehead as we tap and try to stimulate the patient. They do not respond to our taps and shouts. They are unresponsive and they're not breathing normally. If we are in a situation where we still need to activate EMS, we're going to call 911 and then we're going to begin our treatment. If you're in an in-hospital setting or in a clinical setting, it may be now time to call a code. So now, as we check for that breathing, to see if they're breathing normally, we're also gonna feel for a brachial pulse for no more than 10 seconds. We check for that brachial pulse by reaching on the inside of the bicep, between the tricep and the bicep on the inside of the arm. We do not feel a pulse and there is no normal breathing. We're gonna draw an imaginary line across the nipples and drop our two fingers down on the lower third of the sternum. When we do our compressions, it's important to remember that the depth is going to be approximately one-third of the depth of the chest, and the rate is going to be between 100 and 120 compressions per minute, and it'll look like this. One and two, three, four and five and six and seven and eight, ten and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. We grab our appropriate sized CPR shield with a one-way valve, but let's talk about CPR shields, or in this case, rescue masks for a moment. A rescue mask comes in a couple different sizes, whereas a rescue shield is usually a flat piece of plastic with a valve of some sort that's one way. But here you've got something that can work with a bag valve mask as well, and we see these more often in healthcare settings. Notice that on this side I have an infant size, and in this one I have an adult. If at all possible, have the appropriate size for the size of the patient. I have an infant line here, I have an infant um, pocket mask, and so I'm going to use that size appropriately. If all you had was the adult size mask, there are tricks of the trade by turning it upside down that we could use to try to make it work. In this case, we're using the infant size mask, and we're going to cover the nose and the mouth, Bring the child's head into a neutral or a sniffing position. Sniffing position is when we're, do you smell that apple pie baking? It's just a slight upturn of the nose. It's not a full head tilt chin lift. It's just a nice neutral position. And we're going to attempt two rescue breaths. First breath went in. Second breath went in. We know that because we saw chest rise and fall. With minimization, of delay between rescue breaths and chest compressions, we begin our second set of 30 compressions. Now we're going to do this 30 compressions to two rescue breaths, and we're not going to stop until we're ready to defibrillate. 